Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Talks. Our IT edition today is focused on faster time to value with ITSI content packs. In case if you're not familiar with Tech Talks, it's a series of short webinars that are deep dives for technical practitioners. We value you, our customer, and want you to continue in your Splunk journey. Our experts help create these best practices and we want you to leverage them in your daily role. My name is Rahul Mehta and I'm a principal product manager at Splunk. Today, I'm excited to share with you more information about faster time to value with ITSI content packs. All right, let's focus on the agenda. First, I'm going to cover some of the challenges of getting started with ITSI that our customers face. Secondly, I'm going to talk about how do we build services and KPI with content packs. Finally, I'm going to share with you a live demo of content library and content packs as part of this presentation. And then finally, we'll just wrap it up and talk about some of the additional resources that you can use to continue your journey with Splunk and be successful on a daily basis. All right, so let's look at uh, some of the challenges of getting started with ITSI. And these are some of the most common uh, issues that we have come across when talking to the customers. As you can see, the first one is, how do I get started with ITSI? Where should I begin once I'm done with the installation? And why do I start with a blank screen? Uh, where do I go from here, for example? Uh, there are no good indications or the workflows that I can follow. Uh, number third is, I don't know how to monitor my SAP environment, for example. And what are the prerequisites or the requirements to monitor the SAP environment? Uh, the next one on the list is, why does it take me 20 hours to build a single service for my Windows environment? And I can't be the only customer wanting to monitor their windows. It's a very valid question, uh, and it shouldn't be taking 20 hours, for example. And then the next one is, uh, building out common use cases across my infrastructure takes too much time. Uh, it's not efficient, it's not user-friendly, uh, and it gives a very frustrating experience. Or some of the other questions we have come across, for example, are like, what should I even monitor? Uh, I have an e-commerce application, but I, have, I do not have a good sense in terms of uh, what are some of the KPIs uh, or the metrics I should be monitoring in. Or for example, uh, some of you are on the older versions of ITSI, must be asking the question that I don't have the ability to edit my modules. How do I go about it? or how do you tailor the searches to your environment? So as you can see, these are very valid concerns and questions, um, and uh, it doesn't provide an ideal user experience uh, when using ITSI. So in order to address this issue, we realize that you know, as Splunk, we can help you in terms of building these services and KPIs with ITSI. And the way we are gonna do it is through content packs. So the ITSI content packs, what it does is that it provides you out of the box content that you can use to quickly set up your ITSI environment. Uh, the goal here is that you know um, you don't have to guess like or anticipate what steps you may have to follow uh, just to get started or you know make sure that some of the use cases that you are in or you are interested in addressing through ITSI you can easily do it through content packs. And uh, these content packs essentially include content uh, with pre-configured KPI-based searches, service templates, saved glass tables, and other objects for use within ITSI. Third part I wanted to cover is about the add-ons. So the number one question that we have received from the customer is that, how do I uh, send the data to Splunk that I can leverage in ITSI uh, to help address uh, some of the requirements I have? So the great news is that the content pack uses the add-ons uh, to power the underlying the data uh, around metrics, KPIs, glass tables, and so forth. And most of the content packs process data collected through the use of the Splunk add-ons. And add-ons collect some of the information like host, network, and other data from computers that you install them on and map the data to a data model. All right. Uh, so my next focus is going to be on covering a demo. So as part of this demo, I'm going to walk through what the current experience looks like. So essentially, if you are on ITSI 
4.8 or older versions, I just wanted to highlight the pain points that I mentioned earlier uh, that the customers are facing on a day-to-day -day basis. And then I would like to focus on uh, the concept of uh, content library uh, and uh, the Splunk app for content packs. And uh, through this, um, I will just walk you through how easy it is to install a con content pack uh, through a UI in ITSI with literally just few clicks. And instead of spending like minutes or hours or days, um, you know, just building the KPIs or the base searches or the glass tables or the metrics, uh, you can get it. Uh, you can get a content pack installed like literally within seconds. All right. So, having said that, uh, let me just uh, go through the scenario here that I mentioned earlier. That in case if you are on Splunk ITSI 4.8 or older version, uh, the only option that we provide right now is through backup and restore. Some of you might be familiar with it. Uh, and as you can see here, there are like a bunch of steps that are involved in terms of, uh, for example, installing the content pack, which includes downloading the following ITSI backup file. And uh, once you do that, uh, you, can, you need to install it on your search head, for example. And then once uh, that step is done, the next one, the step two is creating the index search mac macro. Notice that, you know, the steps listed here uh, you know, fairly manual steps and uh, fairly time consuming as well. Um, so, and then the next optional uh, step third is change the module micro definition for indexes. Um, I briefly mentioned earlier uh, about how do you update the modules uh, and some of the challenges that the customers are facing. So this is exactly what I was referring about. Uh, the next step on the list is enable automatic entity discovery. So again, we need to follow a series of steps listed here uh, in order to enable the automatic entity discovery. And then uh, here's the interesting part. In terms of the KPI base searches, uh, we provide you options how you can tune it. And finally, uh, you can tune the KPI thresholds. So as you can see here, uh, you know this content pack was uh, on the topic of, I believe, Unix and Linux, monitoring Unix and Linux. Uh, now, depending on the content pack that you're trying to install, uh, some of the steps could be fairly complex. Uh, it may require assistance uh, from uh, other Splunk uh, resources, and uh, it could be highly time consuming as well. So definitely, as you can see here, it's not the ideal experience that you, we would like you to go through uh, in your journey, uh, to in your Splunk journey, especially when it comes to uh, addressing some of the use cases around IT operations. So uh, first thing I would like you to share with you, uh, the Splunk app for content banks that we recently released a couple of months back. So uh, this particular app, what it does is that uh, it gives you the list of the content packs uh, available uh, as part of your ITSI installation uh, that you can pick and choose and install it just through a click through wizard. Um, Think of it as that, you know, uh, Splunk app for content pack as a sort of a mini app store through which you have you know, the list of content packs available uh, to install. Uh, it's very powerful uh, and it's very easy. And um, let's just uh, take a moment and see how it all works. So first thing first, uh, as you can see, I have logged into my Splunk instance. And here I'm going to click on IT service intelligence. Okay, once I click here, um, I'll just navigate to configuration and data integrations. So under data integrations, you will see that, you know, this is a brand new UI, especially if you are on ITSI 4.9 or higher versions. And uh, it's just giving you uh, information about how do you get the data in through the different add-ons that I briefly mentioned earlier. And then uh, the uh, brand new way to install the content packs is listed under add, stru add structure to your data. So as you can see here, out of the box, you know, these are the content packs that are available for you to uh, install. And as you can see, you have various options available. And one of the 
prerequisite for making sure that you see the list of ITSI content packs is to make sure that you install the Splunk app for content packs. Uh, this is definitely a prerequisite. If you don't have the Splunk app for content packs installed, then you will not see the content packs listed here. So I just wanted to make sure that I call that out as a prerequisite. Now, as you can see here at the moment, we have about 11 content packs uh, that are showing uh, in this demo instance. So let me just go ahead and click on one of the uh, content packs, so which is uh, monitoring Microsoft Windows. So as you can see here, um, you know I uh, see a brief information about the particular content pack, and then uh, I also see an option on the left hand side in terms of what's included. So the way to see, I mean, categorize this information is, uh, you know, I would like to call it as an anatomy of a content pack, right? So what does a content pack constitute? So in this case. It's KPI based searches, service templates, for example, and also services. So all of this information is available for you uh, at the moment, right before you go ahead and uh, proceed with the installation of the content bank. So now let me go ahead and click proceed. So as I click on proceed, notice that it's giving me a bunch of information here around what objects I would like to install especially when it comes to the KPI-based searches, service templates, or some of the services. So I have an option to customize or configure either one of them. But as you can see here, I already have the default option selected uh, as per the recommended option here. And then uh, I also, uh, if I scroll further down, I see an option of import as enabled. So here uh, I can you know, enable it import it as enable or can just leave it as, as it is the way it's selected. The third option is add a prefix to your new objects. So in this particular demo instance, demo uh, uh, walkthrough, I'll just leave it blank. And finally, uh, the fourth one is backfill service KPIs. So it's optional. So as you can see here um, in just a single UI, um, it's uh, easily broken down for you. Uh, what are the objects it's about to get installed and based on your preference, or your environment, you can select the appropriate uh, options accordingly. And uh, notice that, you know, unlike the uh, previous approach, you don't have to go through a series of different steps uh, of backup and restore just to install uh, a content pack. So now, uh, as you can see here, I have an option to select install selected. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, it's just giving me, uh, a brief warning message here indicating that make sure you have full backup of your ITSI environment in case you need to uninstall the content pack later. So I'm just going to go ahead and click install and uh, notice that you know the will is spinning and it's already done. Um, so once I click on done, notice that this particular content pack shows a green check indicating that this content pack is installed. So as I was mentioning it earlier, uh, it's fairly simple. It's very easy. So you don't have to spend like minutes or hours or days just to get a content pack installed. Rather, it's done for you literally within seconds. Uh, so this is a power of the Splunk app for content packs through which uh, you can see all the content packs listed here. And uh, just to let you know again, this is ITSI 4.9 version. I wanted to highlight again that as far as the requirements are concerned, um, you need to be on ITSI 4.9 or higher to see the list of all the content packs that are available uh, in your ITSI UI. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, concept I would like to introduce here is the content library. So this is what we call the content library because literally uh, it's a collection of the content packs uh, that you see here uh, and uh, based on your requirement, you can either install all these content packs or the selected ones uh, that are applicable to you uh, regarding your environment. Um, so I just wanted to again, uh, make sure and highlight, you know, the simplicity of the solution and how easy it is making, uh, you know, a life easier for anyone who is managing the Splunk environment on a day-to-day -day basis. 
Okay. So on that note, uh, I'll just go back to my uh, presentation uh, to cover the next set of topics. Okay, so uh, as far as the additional resources are concerned, uh, please check out the documentation. Uh, you will find more information about the content pack app that I just went through and also um, the content uh, pack library, uh, sorry, the content library uh, that I was mentioning it earlier, where you can see the list of content packs that are available uh, if you're on ITSI 4.9 or higher. We also have a blog post that is linked here. This is regarding the Microsoft Exchange content pack uh, that is already available. And we are uh, working on some of the new content packs uh, that we'll be excited to share more about it uh, in our future tech talks. Uh, the next uh, thing on the list I wanted to highlight is uh, we would like you to continue the conversation on community.splunk.com. As you can see, you know we have uh, a lot of uh, Splunk users who are already available on the community and uh, can provide valuable information uh, that might be of interest to you. And uh, you know we are happy to answer any section on faster value to ITSI content pack um, through uh, the community.splunk.com uh, website. And uh, we would also like you to you know uh, sign up on the community and under Splunk search, Splunk sorry Splunk answers. You can search the tag ITSI to view or share best practices. And also, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we have some you know, discussions area where you can view the Splunk Tech Talk section for IT. And finally, we have the IDS portal at Splunk where you can search, vote, and request announcements to the solutions. And we would love to hear more from you, especially around uh, the content packs and what improvements uh, you would like us to make what you like and what are some of the areas where you can think uh, where we can improve upon. Okay, and uh, the next thing I wanted to cover is uh, trust radius. If you uh, enjoy using ITSI, we'd love to hear your story and it will be great for us if you can leave us a review on trust radius or Gartner PR insights. And uh, this will give us uh, you know, a true insights into what our customers are really thinking about the product and want to make sure that you know we are working on increasing our presence on peer review sites like Trust Radius and Gartner Peer Insights. Uh, so we'll really appreciate your time if you could uh, take some time to leave us a review uh, on these sites. Finally, I would like to thank you for your time and uh, we are happy to address any questions you may have and we wish you uh, the great rest of the day. Thank you, bye-bye.